Hey folks, it's John, Victorian Piper and Max once in on the action today. Uh, I've had, uh, or rather I've been searching for, um, a special pipe for me for quite some time. Now, I wanted a genuine Victorian pipe. So, obviously we can't go too far back, but if it was pre-1901, then it would pretty much fit the bill. There's plenty of them about if you look on eBay and various other sites. However, they're either usually absolute, I hesitate to say rubbish, but you know what I mean. They're just no good. The condition's terrible. And they're really not salvageable. Or they're in exceedingly good condition, but you will most certainly pay a premium for that. So occasionally I'll find a pipe that, yeah, it's not ridiculously expensive or the bidding starts quite low. And I'll usually put a, you know, a bid on it of what I think is reasonable. And up to now, I've never won one. So go back a week or so back. Uh, there were actually two I'd found that were very nice. Um, one was a really nice pipe, but didn't have its original stem. The other pipe did have its original stem, but the stem, as with a lot of those sort of early amber stems on, on prior pipes, was in a bit of a mess. It, it wasn't really sort of usable as is. And I was determined that if I did get a pipe, I really did want to use it. Maybe not, I mean, certainly not, you know, an everyday or rotation pipe, but just for that occasional, you know, when you just feel like smoking something really quite special. Anyway, cut a long story short, uh, I won the pipe without its original stem for, it, for I think is a rather unbelievable price of just £20. Um, I'll put a couple of pictures up now as it was on the listings. So these pictures are actually from eBay, so they're not going to be perfect. Just to give you an idea, but it was very nice. The actual pipe itself is great condition, really quite nice grain on it, silver collar which is obviously how we can date it. Uh, but that unoriginal stem, that was an old GBD that had been bodged on. I'll just put the pictures up. Okay, so you've seen what it was like. Anyway, the pipe turned up. Uh, pretty much the day after I paid for it, really speedy. Had a quick look. Like I said, the pipe itself is beautiful. It's uh, 1891. Uh, London... Uh, hallmark on it and it was made by the Suskind brothers uh, which the chap that sold the pipe he does put a little bit in the description he does a bit of research on the makers and things and I've since been and found the information and sort of verified that plus obviously check the hallmarks to confirm that yes it is a, a London hallmarks 1891 but that stem what was I going to do about that stem ah now Obviously, being in the sort of hobby and the business we are, we know very talented people who can uh, put right these things, whether it be repair or something completely new. So, my uh, new friend, Chris, at uh, BJV Pipes, who I've been talking to recently, I thought, here's a man who might be able to help me out with this. So we had a quick chat uh, online and although making stems or stem repairs isn't really Chris's thing, once I'd shown him the little pipe and sort of said, you know, this, this it's quite a, a beautiful old, uh, not necessarily, it's 130 year old pipe, he was quite keen to take on the challenge. So off it went to Chris. It's now come back. So completely sealed up, it's all stapled up. This literally dropped through the door with the postman about an hour ago. So I'll just pause while I get it open because he does securely do his packages up quite nicely with big staples through. Give me a minute just to get uh, those out or flip back and then I will show you it. I haven't seen it. I know roughly what he was doing, but I haven't seen it and we'll look at it together. Just give me a second. Okay, got the uh, staples and the bits of tape off. So. Uh, Pop the lid, peanuts, just 
throw those all over the garden for now. Hopefully Max won't try and eat them. Okay, right then. Now, I forgot to say actually, the pipe is actually um, a bulldog shape, so square shanked or diamond shanked, depending on how you want to how you look at it. So Chris has probably had a bit of a challenge producing this. And I do know that he's also given it a good clean up. And although the seller I bought it from um, had given it a nice clean and uh, the bowl was, like I say, pretty well cleaned out, uh, Chris did say he was going to square it up and give it a bit of a, a bowl coating as well, just to make it that, uh, that sort of bit, bit more of a, a nice finish to it. So here we go, like I say, completely unopened. And I've got to say, after waiting so long to um, find the right pipe, if you like, I'm very excited to see this. I'm trying to keep it on camera. So you see it as I see it. Okay. Oh. Out. Always pops another cigar in for me. You're too kind, Chris. I smoked my first Cuban uh, that Chris sent me uh, recently, in fact, and I loved it. So thank you again. Oh, it's in a EJV sock, so not something it was sent with, so thank you. Right, here we go. Bear in mind, from the pictures you saw earlier, um, forget the stem that was on it. So treat this as though it uh, didn't have a stem and it is completely brand new. Oh wow. Oh my word. Would you look at that? That is... Absolutely spectacular. You can probably see on camera actually because it's bright out here. It's uh, it's actually a, a Chris Kelly Eldritch Pipes resin, and I believe it's like an anti gamba. So um, this was perfect because obviously it suits the era of the pipe, and you can just see it's slightly translucent up at the tip here. But otherwise, it's a really dark dark amber colour. That is beautiful. He's done a fine job on the bowl as well. I mean, it'll just show up as a, a black bowl, but that is now, the chamber was quite wonky. It had been quite well smoked, I think. That's now perfectly round and cylindrical inside. Like I said, he's put a bowl coating on it polished up the bowl. It's probably a bit bright, but you can hopefully get a sense of the straight grain on this. It is a lovely little thing. And again, I'm not sure if it will show up with the sunlight. You can see the hallmarks there. So yes, an 1891 Suskind, genuinely Victorian pipe. Chris, my friend, I am thrilled with that. That is absolutely superb. Uh, and I'm gonna to have to go and take it indoors now because my wife's as keen to see this as I was. Absolutely stunning. The work on that is just, it's perfect. You'd think it was made with the pipe in 1891. It fits just absolutely zero gap. And the end of that silver um, shank cap was a little uneven and battered so I suspect I'll take it off in a minute but I suspect he's straightened that out. Chris honestly don't know what to say my friend but that is just absolutely that's made my week that has. Gonna have to find something very special to smoke in that. So I'll leave it there I hope you all uh, like to see this and Chris's amazing work on that stem that is absolutely superb and i can feel there's something in the bag actually 
Let me just put that down there where the dog's not going to uh, run away with it. There's something else in the back. What have we got? Oh, it's the old stem. So there we go. That was the old GBD stem that had been bodged in. You could have put that in the bin, mate. But <laughs> Thank you very much. But anyway, yes, we'll leave it there. Hope you're all well. Take care. And I shall see you all soon.